Let's say we've loaded a faulty image into OBS and we can't delete it because every time we click on the source, OBS crashes. One possible solution is to recreate all the scenes and sources from scratch. Another solution which I'll show you is to edit the config file which defines the scenes and sources and delete the specification for the image. You will need Visual Studio Code and some patience. Visual Studio Code is a free download from Microsoft. Here inside OBS, I've got scene two and that's got three images in it. And let's say KekW is the faulty image. We first need to know our scene collection name. Here in the drop down menu, we can see it's untitled. Now we'll go to File, Show Settings Folder. In this list of files, we're gonna double click on Basic, double click on Scenes, and here we've got untitled.json. Before we open it, let's first duplicate it. It's always good to make a backup when hand editing files like we're about to do. This way, we can go in confidently. If we make any mistakes, we can just revert to the backup. Also, close OBS because OBS can't be running while you're editing, editing this file. If OBS is running, OBS is going to overwrite any changes that we make. So we need to close OBS right now before we open the file. Now we'll go to untitled.json, open with Visual Studio Code. If Visual Studio Code asks you whether or not you trust the author, it literally doesn't matter. You can press any option, trust or don't trust. You'll be able to edit the file either way. Now, JSON files are valid with or without white space. And we can see this file is all on one line. That makes it really hard to read. You have to scroll to the right forever to see the whole thing. Uh, in Visual Studio Code, we can right click and do format document, and that's going to add line breaks and make make this file much more human readable. I've already found KekW here. It's one of the sources. Uh, Control F and typing in the name of the image source that you want to delete is the next step. Uh, I found some instances of KekW here. These are hotkeys, uh, hotkey definitions. Let's just delete those lines. And no matter what change we make, this needs to stay a valid JSON file. And right now we just made it an invalid file because there's this trailing comma. And uh, you can see the, the name up here, untitled.json is red. That means it's invalid. And we also see a red underline right here saying trailing comma. So let's delete that comma. And now the, the file name is white again. And that means it's a valid file. I'm going to control F or I'm just going to click over here to find the other instances of CACW. And we need to delete them all. This is a source definition here. It's got a name, KekW. It's got a source unit ID. It says whether or not it's visible. It's got alignment. It's got crop specifications. And this is a whole object here, starting with a left curly bracket and ending with a right curly bracket. And we need to select all of that, all the text within the bracket, including the bracket, and delete it. And then again, there's a trailing comma now, so we need to delete that as well. And it's valid JSON again. So let's search for KekW again. Here's another one. This, um, I'm not exactly sure what this specification is about, but we need to delete it because it has to do with KekW. And that's it, there's no more results. I'm going to go ahead and save and then open OBS again. Back in OBS, KekW is gone. If everything went well, let's go ahead and delete the backup we made earlier. If we don't, it's going to clutter up our scene collection right here. So we'll go to File, Settings Folder, Basic Scenes, and then Untitled Corrupted, delete that. And then restart OBS, and you're done. I hope that helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.